this is Wild, and I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial of Bartender 4. So this tutorial will go over what is Bartender, how do you use it, and how do you set it up to look the way that you want it to look. I'm not going to be going over any of the advanced functions for Bartender at this time, uh, but if you're looking for a quick setup, then this is the tutorial for you. So what is Bartender? Uh, Bartender allows you to change the way that your bars look down at the bottom um, to anything you want them to be. You can place them anywhere you want on your screen, make them look all pretty, um, and make it easier for th your play style and how you want to play. Um, so we're going to go through setting up Bartender for the first time. At this point, you should have downloaded Bartender and installed it as an add-on in WoW. So once you have it as an add-on, it's going to appear in your mini-map as a little icon. Um, here's mine. It looks like a little mug. If you left-click it, it's going to show you where all your current bars are. So as you can see, I've got bars all over the place, um, and you can move them if you want to. And we'll talk about this in just a moment. Uh, but this is not the greatest way to start because this starts getting very complicated and I have all these bars I don't want. And so we're going we're gonna to simplify this. So instead of starting here, I'm going to go back to my little icon and I'm going to right click. And now I have my menu for Bartender. And in my menu for Bartender, it shows me all of my bars. I've got presets, profiles, and a fact for you as well. So when you first come in here, um, under profiles, you should be set to a default profile. To start this off, we're going to create a new profile. That way you can save all of your work and it won't affect the default. You could always go back to the default later. Um, and then that way you can also copy your profile from one tune to the other. So if you want to set it up just like you have here, you don't have to do all the work all over again, which makes it more fun. So I'm going to create a tutorial profile. Okay. So as you can see, nothing's really changed. I just have my tutorial profile and all the changes I make will happen to that profile. So let's start with presets. Presets are the easiest way for you to change how your bars look. And you might like one of the presets, so uh, you can easily change it quickly right from here. Uh, Blizzard interface is the one that we're on right now. It looks just like this. There's no reason to use that if you're going with the default, right? Uh, you also have two bars wide. Two bars wide does not look very different. Um, if I apply it, you'll notice that this moves down a little bit, and that's about it. Um, you lose over here um, all of your bags and the mini bar, um, and you have two bars down here versus the the one so uh, three bars stacked if you apply that you have three bars stacked one on top of the other with your pet bar right there um, and that's just an easy quick stacking with the blizzard art bar uh, and it includes like your um, tracking bar down here which will give you like your artifact power or your experience bar if you're leveling so those are your your presets. Um, if you don't like any of the presets, then we're going to start with a full reset. So a full reset is going to take all of your bars away and it's going to put everything in the middle here for you to deal with, including all of the bars. So you can see all the bars are just kind of stacked one on top of the other, um, which makes it really easy to find and you're not like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Uh, it's just easier for you to deal with, right? So let's say that I want to take all my bars and just stack them neatly down below. Okay, so I'm going to find bar one. Oh, look, I grabbed it right away. There's bar one. And I'm going to put it, let's say, right about here. Oh, you know what? I don't like that bar snapping. You see that, how it snaps back and forth? I can't put it exactly where I want it. If you don't like that, you can check the bar snapping here and move it around wherever you want it to go. It doesn't snap anymore. So I'm going to do it right about here. 
Okay, and then I've got this nasty bar here. Uh, we're going to move that out of the way. So there is your extra action bar. Uh, this is for any extra action button that Blizz has during a quest. You always want to keep that up. Um, if you get rid of it, then some quests you're not able to do until you turn it back on. Um, same thing for your zone ability bar. Uh, you're going to go ahead and you could stack it right on top of the other one because usually you don't have both at the same time. Um, and that just kind of gets it out of the way so you can move this stuff around and make it look pretty. Okay, so still stacking, right? At bar one, I'm going to take bar two and stack it underneath. That's pretty. And let's say I'm going to go three bars deep. So stack it right there. Make it all pretty. All right. Um, I want a sidebar, so I'm going to move this menu over here. And I'm going to put a sidebar over here, but I'm, I'm going to play with that later. Bar five and six are just extras. Like, I don't need them. Why are they here? So we need to get rid of those, right? So to get rid of any of the bars that you don't want, um, you can figure out which one they are by making sure they're unlocked. So if I locked it back and I don't know what's going on here, I can always unlock and it comes back to green and it tells you which bars are which, right? So this one's bar five. So I'm going to go to bar five over here and I'm going to unenable un un it, if that's a word. Um, and that will allow me to get rid of that bar. It's not there anymore. Bar six, don't need it. There you go, poof, gone. Now I just have three bars here and my bar hanging out over here that I need to fix. And I've got some extra bars that we wanna talk about real quick. So your pet bar is especially important if you're a hunter um, because you wanna put that where you can you know, deal with your pet. Um, for a shaman, your elementals will show up down here if you are controlling your elementals. So always keep your pet bar uh, where you need it. I'm gonna put mine right below here in case I need it. Uh, you have your back bar. So your back bar, uh, you can put anywhere you want to. That's where you can access your bags. But you know what? I don't need all of this bag stuff going on here. So I want my back bar, which is over here to the left, but I only want one bag, boom. Now I just have one little bitty button for my back bar and I can put that anywhere I want to. I'm gonna put mine over here on top of Scotta. All right, now I have my micro menu. So my micro menu is things like my talents, uh, achievements, my guild menu. I'm gonna put that over here next to my bag bar. Uh, if you don't want it, you can select micro menu over here and disable it. If you're more of a keybind person and you got all that memorized, then you go, go ahead and disable it right there. So now I have my vehicle bar still hanging out in the middle. I'm gonna put that over here. Don't disable it. If you get into a vehicle for a quest and it has bars, um, you kinda wanna be able to, to control that. So make sure you always have your vehicle bar on and out of the way. All right, so now I have this bar four over here. Um, I wanna make it go up and down so that I have it hanging, there, hanging out over here. So I'm gonna go back over to bar four and under bar style and layout, I wanna make it go up and down. So I don't want just one row, I want 12 rows, right? Cause I've got 12 buttons, so I need 12 rows. So I'm gonna slide that over to 12 and now I have one button in each row with 12 rows and I can just slide it over here to the side. Now it's out of the way, but you know what? I don't want it to show all the time. I don't like to look at it all the time. It's just gonna have certain things that I need when I need them. So I could go over to visibility and select fade out. What that does is it's gonna fade this bar out until I hover over and then it'll be visible again. All right, now I have it looking pretty good for what I want to do, something simple, right? So I can lock it. Oops, didn't wanna do that. And I'm gonna close that and now I have everything set up the way I want. You'll notice over to the right, my menu or my buttons are not there. They're kind of there, but they're not there. If I hover over them, they're there. If I don't hover, ta-da, right? So um, let's say that these bars are too big, too small. 
what have you. I need to rearrange them a little bit because it's just not working for me. So if I go back to Bartender and right click, I have my menu. And what I'm going to do is go to the bar that I want to change. So let's say I want a really itty bitty tiny bar one because I'm a key binder. So I tie everything to a key and I don't really need to see them that big. I just need little bitty, little bitty things, right? So first of all, I need to know what bar this is. Uh, if I've forgotten, again, I can unlock my bars and then uh, this tells me this is bar one. So bar one, I can make this look any way I want to. So I could just scale it down or let's say I don't like this gap in between. You see the gap in between the buttons? Uh, that's called padding. Don't want it there. So I'm just gonna move that down to zero. Now there's no padding in between my buttons. And I'm gonna scale it down a little bit, make it a little smaller. So now I have all my keybinds right there. I can still see the icons. Uh, maybe I wanna go a little smaller. I mean, I could still see the icons and it takes up less real estate on the screen, right? More for graphics, pretty things, good. Let's say um, I have a certain amount of buttons that I just, I need to have all the time, right? And I really need to see them. Let's say I'm a clicker, um, so I don't key bind my buttons, I really need to click them, right? So I wanna put it somewhere where it's easily accessible, um, Let's say I wanna, I wanna put it right here, okay? And I'm gonna click these buttons. This is bar three, so I'm gonna choose bar three over here. I'm gonna click these buttons, um, but I don't want them out to the side because that just is weird for me. So I'm gonna make it horizontal. Well, let's make it a little box, I like that. So I'm gonna put five rows, one, two, three, four, five, right? 12 buttons, I can put it as a little box right here and uh, let's say I want to make it super big, but I don't want the padding because I hate the padding for some reason. I'm going to make it super big so I can see those, those buttons really well. And then that way I can click on them and still see where I'm at. I can pan out. I can zoom around my character, right? And I still have these buttons right here so I can easily click them if I want to. Um, so as you can see, you can do anything you want with any of these. So let's say um, that I'm done. I'm locked, locked in. I've got my buttons right where I want them because, you know, alchemy is super important. Got to be able to hit that button. Um, but I have multiple tunes, right? So let's say that I want to take this setup that I just spent all this time on and move it over to another one of my tunes. Well, that's very easy to do. So if I right click on Bartender 4, I have, again, the profile I just created, right? I called mine tutorial. You could call yours whatever you want. So let's say I create, um, I, I, let's say I go back to my default. Oh, look, all my stuff is gone. Oh, sadness, right? Uh, and I create a, a new one for, let's say, my Druid. Okay, now I have a Druid um, profile. I can copy from my tutorial profile. Bam, now that's what my Druid, um, Druid profile looks like. So when I log into my Druid, I can come back into Bartender 4 and select the Druid profile and it looks exactly the way I just set it up for my shaman. So um, I might make a few changes to it because it's separate from the shaman. Maybe I want to do some things a little different. But this is very easy for you to, to copy your profiles across tunes and make sure that you have what you need. So that was everything for our quick bartender tutorial. I hope that was very helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. Thanks.